Hi, welcome to YOH Crochet. My name is Anita and thank you so much for stopping in today and spending some of your time with me. Uh, thanks to anyone who's new here and thanks to everyone who's been here. I appreciate each and every one of you very much. And so today I am going to take you inside. I don't know if you can hear that ruckus upstairs. Corey's dog is freaking out. I think it's because he's getting ready to leave and Zeppelin wants to go with. He loves car rides. Well, both the dogs do, but oh my God, it sounds like elephants up there. Lynette, come on over. I got elephants. Okay, anyway, so <laughs> today I am going to take you inside the latest issue of Crochet World. So this is the issue for June 2023. And uh, let's see. Ads, ads, ads. Okay. The first category is to categorize their patterns is beginner's luck so i'm assuming they would be beginner friendly patterns and we have some slippers and i've seen podcasters do um similar style slippers so it looks like they are the slippers that are crocheted flat in one piece and then they just kind of fold the pieces over to make a slipper so these are called the Toe Hugger Slippers by Deborah Arch. Right there. Deborah Arch or Arch. I'm not sure how to say it. But yes, slippers. And so that is the first pattern. Um and the next one was well, kind of a cute idea. So these are called pet wrist. This is a tongue twister. Pet wrist rest cushions. So they have little animal heads on them. And they're, you rest your wrists on them like when you're typing on a computer. Those are kind of cute. Um, and this is in the category just for fun. And Miko is whining because he wants to go for a ride too. I'm pretty sure they took Zeppelin with. Okay, so these are the, I will let you look while I tell you who the designer is. Uh, Pet Wrist Rest Cushions and it's designed by Fat Lady Crochet. Maybe that should be my name, Fat Lady Crochet. I'm just kidding. I'm fluffy. It's okay. Okay, and then for a touch of style, we have the Zorana tunic designed by Gwen Butkey McGannon. Butkey? I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I don't know. Um, so this is a photo of the tunic. It's pretty cute. I kind of like it. I don't think I would wear that, but it's still kind of cute. Um, <laughs> and next we have a baby blanket. I like the border on this blanket. I really apologize for Miko's whining. One second. Let's get him a treat. Okay, now he will stop whining. <laughs> Are you giving me a hug? Oh yeah? Oh, oh. <laughs> my goodness. I got him a per sniffers treat. He loves these things. These came from Laura's sidekick, Persephone. Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming. Do you want this? Can I have a hug? Give me a good hug. That's not a good hug. Come over here. Hug. Hug. <laughs> Ow, it's my hair. Okay. Here, take that. <laughs> oh, okay, now he won't whine because he has a treat. And you better savor that because you only have two left after that. Okay, I lost my page. 
I lost the page. But anyway, I was saying this baby blanket. I really like the border on that. It's pretty. But you have not seen it yet. I have to find my page. So I can show you. Where did my page go? There it is. Okay. I really like that border. That's pretty. It looks like the star stitch. Am I, am I right? Is that the star stitch? I think so. So this is, well, it must be because you know what? The name is the Starry Meadow Baby Blanket. Very pretty. And this is designed by Wendy Brown. I think so far this is my favorite pattern. And they use Lion Brand Ferris Wheel. So if you're wondering, that's a very pretty color. They use Lion Brand Ferris Wheel. And I think the color was called Candy. If you like that color and you are interested. Okay, and we have a Scraps Delight category. And they made a striped scrap dishcloth and that is designed by Adriana I cannot say that name can you see that yes so there's that those are pretty colors too nice pastel springy colors even though this is the June issue June is more into uh well that's pretty but I don't want to do beads so there's a little bit of bead work in this next pattern. And this is a category just threads and it's wire quartz and crystal necklace. And that is really pretty, but I don't know if I'm all into bead work. So there is a picture. It's hard to see against that white shirt. Maybe they should have picked something different, a different color shirt to model that in. But materials you need 20 gauge pale pink wire uh size f crochet hook wire cutting tool rose quartz semi-precious beads 25 of those four millimeter 78 uh four millimeter bicone swart swar swar uh yeah the crystals the swarovski the swar swarovski crystal <laughs> wow I can't talk. Um, six millimeter glass beads, you need nine of those, and a towel is optional. Not sure what the towel is for. I don't know. But it's really, really pretty. I just, I, I got enough yarn. You know, I, I, I collect enough yarn. I don't need to collect another thing. Maybe someday in the future. It is pretty. I wonder if my niece would be interested in that. She likes to do beads and um, make bracelets and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, still in just threads, we have the Summertime Floral Drop Earrings, and that is designed by Terry Gentile. So those are the earrings. I think so far my favorite is that starry, starry night or starry whatever baby blanket and the necklace. Um, still in just threads category, we have the Cal Calcutta necklace designed by Kristen Stoltz with clay. I can't say that word either. I can't say that name either. And there's the necklace. It's okay. It's just not really my style. Maybe if they didn't have that going across, maybe I would like it better. I'm not sure. Um, and still in just threads, we have the Summer Sunshine Doily designed by Gemma R. Owen. Oops, we don't need to see the pattern. And I've seen doilies that I in my opinion I think are prettier in these magazines before than this one like this next doily doily is prettier I think um so that brings us to this doily 
It is the Stefania doily designed by Olga Shalaeva. <laughs> With these names that I cannot say. I don't think I would do it in those colors. Sorry, Madonna. But I like this doily better than the previous one. Um, there's an ad for Annie's, and then we have an editor's favorites. Uh, it's okay, so they're reviewing a product, and it is the crochet activity book. So that's different, huh? So they have. Oh, let's see, what does she say? There are times that I get stuck in a rut and just don't want to crochet. I often find myself turning to puzzles as a distraction when this happens. I love puzzles, especially crosswords and word scramblers, but I found that playing the same puzzles over and over gets boring because they tend to have the same common words in every one. The crochet activity book is a great way to switch things up and find some crochet inspiration at the same time. So, um, this it has over a hundred puzzles and brain teasers, word searches, word scrambles, logic puzzles, trivia games, cryptograms, mazes, picture matching games, drawing games, Sudoku, and even find the numbers games. Huh. It has fun trivia about the history of the craft, industry standard information, information about selling at fairs and quotes about crochet and it says the puzzles are harder than they look too mostly because they're not words you're used to seeing scrambled and if you get stuck there are clues and then the um the solutions of the puzzles at the back of the book well that's kind of neat i i can't say i've ever seen anything like that so there is a picture of the cover, and if you are interested, I will see if I can find this online and link, and get the link and link it for you. It says it's available at Barnes and no Nobles or on Amazon. Okay, continuing with the patterns, the next one is this afghan here, and it is called the Rosebud Rosebud. Rosebud. <sighs> I'm sleepy and I am stumbling over my words. I apologize. It is the Rosebud Foot Pocket Throw. So, there's that. Um, and it is designed by Margaret Wilson. I wonder why it's the Rosebud Foot Pocket. I wonder, do they have like a pocket in the bottom of it to stick your feet in or... I'm not quite sure. I don't see anything like that in the picture. Yeah, I don't see. I don't think so. Well, no, it says it's fun to stitch through. It comes with a com com blah, 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 blah. If I could speak, we would be doing great. Right here, it says this. If I can read backwards. It's backwards to me. It shouldn't be backwards to you. This fun to stitch throw comes complete with a pocket to keep your feet toasty warm. That's actually kind of a neat idea. You could do that with any blanket, just crochet it a little bit longer than what you need it to be, and then just fold the end over and kind of sew up the sides, and then you can stick your feet in there. You'll have a little pouch for your feet. Because I hate it when you cover up with a blanket and your feet stick out. I don't like it. And your feet get chilly. But they don't have a picture like... Yeah, they don't really have a picture um, showcasing that little pocket that they're talking about. I like the border on that too. Okay, look at the border. I like that border. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. And next is, this is cute. This is really, actually really cute. Next, we have the hooded puppy love blanket. 
and that is designed by Barbara Meyer. Look at the little puppy. Mm -hmm. Oh, next we have a three of a kind ballerinas. So we have some Ami Gurumi, and these are designed by Kendall Waltz. So there's that. And next we have a hat. And it is a Tunisian hat. So it is the T Tunisian knotted hat designed by Victoria Light. That's kind of cute. I don't really like that little knotty thing on the top, but I'm sure you don't have to do that. Yeah, the, the knot is made separately and sewn on. Uh, what's up with these hearts? Hmm. Optional. Using yarn doubled, embellish a side, a uh, side of hat with lazy daisy hearts. So it has instructions to make these little hearts on the hat if you want to. I think I prefer it plain. Next, we have a shawl, and it's actually kind of pretty it's the dreams prayer shawl designed by ooh, I'll just show you the name I'm not even gonna try um so that's a pretty I like that color that's pretty they use that ship that shape yes world Fine art. It is a merino wool microfiber acrylic yarn. And the color is number 658, I think. Um, continuation of prior patterns. And this is a throw it's called the we got you throw and that is designed by Karen Barnes and then we have the Casa blanket designed by Sherry Malik sweet bird crochet And now we have a fashion chemo hats. That's kind of a cool idea. It's not my style. I wouldn't wear it, but it is different. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this before. So they crocheted the hats and they made, um, what do you call that? A spot where you can weave in a scarf or a head wrap and put that through. That's different. Like I said, not my style. I don't think I would wear that. So there's this style, the cap with the scarf that I showed you. And then they also have a turban style cap. Um, and we have graphs for the graph gans the two blankets the casa and then we got you and then next we have the tri-color uh, tri kitchen sampler set designed by Brent Bendy Carter so there's that and then next we have a sample table runner designed by Andy Graves those are pretty colors. Yes. And we have a Calypso throw designed by Kathleen Burlew. That is that. And now we have the 
Melange Sampler Throw, also designed by Kathleen Barlow. Um, and I think that is it. And then there's the very last page showing you all the patterns. Now, I think, um, let me look here one more time before I decide on this. Um, yeah, so I think, I don't think I'm really going to make anything out of here. Even though I really like the borders on a couple of those blankets, I don't really see myself doing any of these patterns. The shawl, maybe, and maybe that starry blanket, whatever it was called, I don't remember, maybe, but who am I kidding? I'm probably not going to get around to it, so... What I'm going to do, I'm going to give this away. So, if you are interested in winning this magazine, I might throw something else in there with it too. I'm not sure. I'll have to look through and see what I've got. Um, Yeah, if you are interested in receiving this magazine, just put Crochet World somewhere in your comments. And just make sure it's two words, crochet space world. And I will let this go for like two weeks. Um, I, don't, I know I don't really do a whole lot of giveaways on my channel. I, I apologize for that. Um, so this way, I'm giving back a little bit, a little something. I know, I know it's nothing cool and exciting and, you know, it's a magazine. But I would like, I would like to give you guys something. So here you go. And like I said, I'll probably look and see what I've got around here and I'll throw something else in with it. But so yeah, if you are at all interested in um, having this magazine, just put in your, in the comments, Crochet World. And in a couple of weeks, I will pick a winner and I will get this sent out. Okay, so that's all I have for you for today. Um, thanks for watching again and um, make sure you find some time to crochet something, okay?